Well, yet another river rescue along the American River. Today, a fisherman was pulled from the water after he was swept into deep waters near Ambassador Drive. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live at the river tonight with the second rescue in as many days. Marissa? Well, Tony, Metro Fire tells us about 20 people die along the American River every year. This time, we're talking about a grim situation. A fisherman had waded just a few feet into the water. He had some sort of medical emergency, and he was found without a life jacket. I saw the chopper in the sky, and I knew something was wrong. Jay Tamashiro has been fishing his whole life and was on high alert when he heard about this latest drowning. He just had a close call last week. I didn't realize that the clay bank was so fragile that it literally broke on me, and I, and I fell into the water with my waders on. He knows firsthand just how dangerous wading into the water with these high river levels can be. The knowledge of other fishermen that telling me what to do, I wouldn't be here today. Chris Vestal with Metro Fire tells us this fisherman was wading in the water just a few feet. He had some sort of medical emergency. Someone saw him and called for help. This is now the second time in two years where we've had somebody who is shore based, perhaps fishing, that ended up with a fatal accident because they weren't wearing a life vest and because of the river conditions which swept them further out. Metro Fire is investigating whether the cold water could be related to the medical emergency. Cold water less than 70 degrees can affect the body after less than one minute of exposure. Vestal says whether you're on a watercraft or on foot, this water can be deadly. Anybody that's in that water is going to be compromised. Again the, again, the sheriff's office, who's also investigating this and responded to this rescue earlier today, is looking to confirm whether this attempted rescue is fatal. Meanwhile, we've been out here reporting on these rescues and this heat for days now. We've seen a bunch of people out here on the water for days now. And still, we're seeing people out here on the water, whether on foot or in boats, on kayaks. Many people, guys, still not wearing life jackets. Yeah, and they're easily accessible, so yeah. please get one. All right. Thank you, Marissa. What a difference a day makes, though, right? At times.